I am executive chef Colin Burford, the host of Food for Fuel. We're going to use a platform of sous vide cooking, which is low temperature cooking. We're going to give you the knowledge and the platform to help you navigate through this wonderful way of cooking. So today we're going to be making one of my favorites, which is a very fresh and ingredient packed guacamole. Um, so we're going to start off with a half cup of red onion. I like this recipe because it holds a lot of lime and that's a great way for to take some of the strong flavor out of the onion. So we've got three whole limes I'm going to juice into here. And I like to let this sit for a good five minutes just prior to adding in the avocado. Give it a good squeeze, get as much as you can out. And then at this point, I also like to add salt. And today we're using a black lava blended salt with charcoal from Saltberg. And then the next ingredient we're gonna pop into here is cilantro, about two or three tablespoons. And you don't need to use cilantro if, if you're not a fan. Some people don't necessarily like cilantro. Um, I either, I like either basil or, um, or parsley, and also tarragon is quite flavorful too. Uh, if you want a little bit of heat, uh, I'm gonna dice up some jalapenos, but you can also add um, a serrano or a red chili. If you like, if you like the heat, you can also leave in the seeds um, my family particularly doesn't like the heat, so I kind of take out the seeds. Guacamole is one of those things which, you know, everyone likes guacamole. It's a great fan favorite. You can use it as a snack. I often have this in the fridge. We're also, at this point, we're gonna add in some cumin for a little bit of added flavor and depth. I'm just gonna give this a mix up. And you can already tell, like the onion smell, if onions smell really oniony, as it were, the acid really helps to break that down. And it's not so harsh and fierce. And it allows all those other ingredients to be able to come through. So then we're gonna add in our avocados at this point. There's a couple of different ways Obviously, once you remove the pit, you can either scoop them out, and this kind of depends on whether or not they're fresh or they're um, a little bit underripe. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash it. You can either use a whisk or a potato masher, any kind of utensil which you have in your kitchen. Don't be afraid. Get in there, give it a good old mix up. So now you've really got all those flavors that are really starting to get together. You can add fresh ingredients and you know where they're coming from. Also we have pomegranate seeds. We have some pumpkin seeds. And one thing that is always kind of really important that you want to remember is we have all that lime juice in there. So let's balance it out with some Anderson's pure maple syrup. And then the last thing we have is we're gonna add some green onion. About three tablespoons of green onions. And then, you know me, I'm a big fan of the zest. So we do it directly over the dish and then that captures all those natural oils, makes it super tasty. And you can add a little bit of uh, lemon zest too if you wish. You can add a bit of chili paste if you really want. Again, give it a good mix up. It's kind of making me hungry. I'll be looking forward to having this the next time we have some friends over the house. Now once you've finished, you've added all the ingredients, give it one last mix. And then the most important part is tasting.
I really like how the pomegranates and the pumpkin seeds really play off of each other and the acid that comes through and the maple syrup it really helps balance it all. I think you're really gonna love this.